First at five begins right now. Now remember this name, Gino Bana. He's a Western New York native. He also is a St. Joe's grad. He Earlier this year, he and thousands of other people, they headed off to Giant Stadium down in New York City, and they were there to give their idea for the best Super Bowl advertisement they could ever come up with. It was a great contest, all part of the NFL contest. People logged online. They helped vote for a winner. Now, their vote was 30 percent. The other 70 percent was voted on by the NFL executives themselves. Now, Gino placed second in the popular voting, but he came out on top when it really counted. So now the NFL is flying him out to Los Angeles, turning his idea into reality. He was in class grad school yesterday when he got the call. Uh, my phone starts vibrating. I look. It was 212 area code, New York City. I ran out in the hall, and uh, I was the top marketing person at the NFL, and she said, Gino, you won. And um, first thing I said was, can I quit grad school now? <laughs> yeah, anyone growing up in Buffalo, you know, I was born in 73, um, when, you know, OJ and the electric company came along in, in Buffalo, and, you know, Joe Ferguson, and, you know, every Sunday, you know, Buffalo just shuts down, and you, you watch the Bills. All right, so what's it about? Gino's ad for the NFL is about the end of the Super Bowl and trying times that us guys go through, knowing that we have to wait all summer long until football starts again. You can see his ad by logging on to our website, WGRZ.com. It's right there, Mary Allison. I'm sure that it's not just guys that have trying times. I'm sure a lot of ladies have trying times waiting for football again. Also. Oh, yeah. You know, I just pine away until training camp starts, Scott. Oh, yeah. Scott. Me too. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well, that's going to be pretty exciting, though, to see the local guy and his product. So, Kevin, what do you say? I'm kind of connected to this one, Mary Ellis, by fate, I guess you could say. Kevin Jr. went to school with Gina Bonner. Oh. I went to school with his daddy. How about that? How Two about generations that? <laughs> yeah, some, some of, there's a little big a bit of a lapse in there. But congratulations, Gina. We're looking forward to seeing that ad.